Hello and welcome to This Is. Let's browse on down to the browser store to get a browser to browse more browsers. Wow. So did you know soon you can go down to your browser store mm -hmm. and pick up off the browser shelf a $6 a month copy of Google Chrome. A paid version of Google Chrome is coming. You might rightfully say, what? Yeah. You also might say, why? And probably you'll say, Thank you, Google. The good thing is, is that this is not like every version of Chrome is about to go paid. This is a enterprise version that has a bunch of extra features. I am a browser, uh, what's the word for this? Um, switcher. You're I'm, disloyal. Yes, I am disloyal. You're disloyal. I will tell you one thing I don't do. I don't use Chrome. 65% of people in the world use Google Chrome. I don't like change. Anyone, <laughs> yes, you do not. Anyone who knows me knows I like things the same all the time. Yep. I have very slowly mm -hmm. been switching over to Edge. So, so you're, you're coming from Safari, right? So, well, so I use two browsers because of dumb things. I know there's a lot more out there and a lot of people are like, no, you should only be doing this one. You should only be using Firefox. You should only be using- Opera GX, baby. Yeah. Just, Opera GX is Twitter pretty unhinged. I, I got I to I gotta tell you that. <laughs> Who's ever running the, the Opera GX Twitter? Your therapist must be really, really wealthy. So, okay, so let me just really quickly run you through where we're at globally right now. 65% Chrome, 18% Safari, 5% Edge, 2% Firefox, Samsung Internet. Sorry, who hurt you? And 2.5% Opera. Who so, hurt me? Google? Google did? Because Google wants to do this enterprise paid system. Yeah, yeah, let yeah. Let me explain it to you guys in Star Trek terms because enterprise. <laughs> Chrome used to be amazing. This is a new enterprise version of Chrome. So there are two versions, Chrome Enterprise Core, just like the way that, you know, if you're using Windows and your IT department can sort of set a bunch of limitations, yada, yada, yada. Well, this is basically the same thing, but for the browser. So you can do cloud management, you can do extension securities, you can do Chrome security insights, and all this kind of stuff. That's actually a free version of Chrome that you can just download right now. But the premium version, Malware deep scanning, which is weird for a browser. I'm not sure why that is a thing. Because well, Chrome already has the like basic like little scanny tool when you download stuff. It has data loss prevention. You can filter URLs based on categories. If you get your enterprise computer with Chrome Enterprise Premium, then your IT department can say, hey, no watching YouTube. Immediately go to HR and complain because a steady stream of this is videos is the only way you get through the day. You know who you are, everyone watching this video at 2 a.m. Yep. on the night shift. You've subscribed to decide to ring -a ling the ding -a ling button, right? This just feels, again, to me like a way for companies to force themselves as a middleman because yep. any real IT department can do all of this already. We're going to take this to the little tiny guys who don't have an IT well, department. It helps you because if you already have like Google Workspace and Google Apps and all that kind of stuff, then you can just sort of loop this in. So everyone. In yeah, but now it's just a way to like get an extra $6 a month out of something. Totally. I'm, I'm assuming it's $6 a month per seat. $6 so. per user per month. But I think the bigger story here is that Google is dominant with Chrome. Obviously, they make an enormous amount of money. No, no, they don't, they don't make any money. Poor defenseless Google. They got to start charging for Chrome. If you don't pay for this, they're going to go out of business, man. What, you think software is free? Like, <laughs> think of the shareholders. Don't don't talk to <laughs> about my Goog, okay? I got to get that Goog stock. Ooh, I don't. Because Google has such a dominant position in the browser space, doing their best to corral you into using as many Google services as possible, which to be fair, Microsoft does the same thing. I use Edge, I'm gonna be very careful with my phrasing here, everywhere I possibly can. Yeah, I edge all the old No, 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 so- I, I do a no. lot of edging. <laughs> Indy's over there just like with a knife, like I will kill you. One of the main advantages of Edge has been Copilot. Now I know that a lot of people go, meh, 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 meh. And I, look, I get it. But I actually find that both Gemini and Copilot are quite useful for me for a little bit more complicated things, right? You know, I want, here, take all these numbers and you know, give me the calculations, whatever. Like, it's really nice to have. Going into the creative side, I haven't make a lot of memes for me. What memes do you make that are AI generated? What are you talking about? Bear squid. What? Bear squid. What's that to do with Chrome? You talk about using Copilot. 
What, why are you getting mad at me about it? I'm not getting like, mad. I'm just you like got, you're to... getting mad at me about it. Where I do see this making a little bit more sense, like schools or something that are using yes. Chromebooks. We know that they're going to be downloading whatever thing TikTok shows them. If you go on the enterprise thing, one of their sort of examples is Snap. They set restrictions and warnings. Someone's not thinking and they try to put in the proprietary Snap information into Gemini and say, hey, can you help me parse these numbers? It goes, yeah. hey, no, okay. you shouldn't, don't you leak shouldn't our stuff. do that. Yeah. Right? Would it yeah, make yeah. sense to like, if you had like an older family member who's always calling you about actually, like- wait a minute. We are you going to pay $6 a month to not talk to your Aunt no, no, Bertha? No, here's the thing. <laughs> you could do the core version, which is still free. And you can lock her laptop down so no. it only does super basic things. That's a great idea. She's yeah. also downloaded a toolbar that is No! Perfect. You the can do extension security. You can stop the toolbars. This is genius. Google, this is what I've been asking for all along. Mm. I'm going to install this on my mom's computer right now. But like the question here, I think, is there are so many alternatives to Chrome. I will personally say that I actually have not used Chrome in a while. Now, obviously, most people watching this video yeah. probably do. And there's nothing wrong with Chrome. I'll just be clear. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. But the way that Google have sort of stewarded sort of the Chromium sort of underpinning of pretty much every other browser out there besides like Safari and Firefox, pretty much all browsers these days are based on Chromium. Obviously, Google are incredibly invested in making sure that advertisers can get as much information about you as well, possible. And they just they just settled a lawsuit because all They're that tracking in incognito all, mode. all that incognito is like we won't track you your isp might but we won't i hate the fact that google knows that i use incognito mode to shop for gifts for my significant Here, other i use incognito mode almost exclusively just to not have what's bark made out of <laughs> like I, like i, I don't want a record stupid question yeah like, like i don't I want don't a record of like how I dumb something exactly you know it's Oh, what so are you? I was allergic to, to what? stupid questions. Oh Go my ahead. god! Woo. So like, how many times have we done a sus version of a, a show? I don't want Penosaurus Rex to be like my targeted ad. <laughs> Everyone can know that I'm actively looking for Penosaurus Rex. So one thing I know that a lot of people have been talking about, I know that Ken is a huge fan of, are you familiar with the Arc browser? I know about it, I just don't use it because again, I don't like change. Arc browser is probably the most unique browser that we've seen, even though it is still using the Chromium base, is a completely different browser. So instead of just always having tabs and everything lives in its own tab, you can actually have like, if you open a link, it'll kind of like hover for a minute and then you can expand it out or you can get rid of it. The biggest downside for me really is just the fact that I hate how much space that it takes up. I yeah, don't like that's... the UI, it's way too big. It looks like Pinterest. Yes, actually that's a great point. This it's is very- the most Pinterest <clears throat> browser with like, Slack on the side. Yes. You can have like, you know, your Spotify and your Notion and whatever you want up there. It doesn't feel like it's quite there yet for me. Like where where browsers in 2024? I don't care. Wait, 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 wait. Are you trying to tell me that you don't wake up in the morning and get your I, your, like, your 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 underwear in a twist? You think I wear underwear to bed? I do, because I'm afraid of critters. <laughs> Whoa! But Whoa. anyway. Safari, the, the Safari team actually were just recently talking about how over the last few months, there's a new version of Speedometer and the Safari numbers have been significantly better. Like it's a really fast browser. Like, especially if you're using um, on iPhone, I feel like it's a pretty easy call because yeah, Safari just, uh, is yeah. the underpinning of every browser app on iPhone. So even if you're using, you know, Edge or whatever the case it's is, just, just it's, it's still Safari, Safari yeah. really underneath. Even on Mac, I find that Safari has much better battery life than every other browser. Again, I'm not here to tell you that I think Safari is better than all the other browsers. It came with my laptop. It's unoffensive. It's unobtrusive. Yeah. Like one of the things I don't like about Edge is how many Edge pop-ups come up. Yeah, I agree like, with that. The, the, of, the shopping, there's so many things. And even though I feel like I turn off most things on Edge, there's still a lot of stuff that's like, hey, what about this? Hey, what yeah, about that? Yeah. Hey, did you remember to upgrade to Windows 13 yet? Firefox has been pretty flat I was, down forever. I want to say the Chrome is somewhat artificially uh, elevated because of Android. Firefox on Android is good. Right, but yeah. like... I'm a Firefox only guy, uh, except for when I need an entire page auto-translated, then I will sometimes copy it into Chrome. So if you just want numbers on desktop, for desktop in March of 2024, 65% Chrome, 12% Edge, 8% Safari, 6% Firefox, 3% Opera. I get pissed off every time you use a Google thing. It's like, hey, you should be using Chrome for this. But I, I feel just as pissed off uh, with, with Edge. It's almost sad with Edge when you like go to like, you open up Edge, like I'll download Chrome and like, oh, well, please consider keeping us as your browser. Every browser company makes money when you do any Google search. Yeah. Google will pay them or bang or whatever. But right. really, it's like Google really 
It, they make they save so much money by Chrome existing purely because instead of having to pay Firefox and Safari and all these other companies billions of dollars every year to get your well, Google yeah, searches, think, think about it, they like, do it for free because they already own Chrome. But yeah. like from the consumer side of like people getting uppity, yeah. do you guys just want to fight about something? Yes. Like is is that yes. really all it is? I got some energy. I need to get it out. Yeah. Like it just. I will say. I'm not a dramatic boy about that stuff, but one thing I will say is that I think people raising concerns about the like almost like encroaching monopoly of Chromium over the entire browser space well, and then, like, is something to actually watch I and agree. look yes. at because and I, that's but that's different than a, like two a people like arguing over the same Chromium base. I think we should make a distinction there because that's something we should look at and be, and that's also why I am hardcore Firefox because we need, we need the holdouts. If you combine every Chromium version, the only browsers that are not Chromium based are Safari and Opera, which combine for about 14, 15%. Like you don't mm -hmm. want all websites to be designed just yes. for Chrome. You also want to have that competition. You want the Safari yes. team to be, you know, making their browser super fast to sort of make the edge team sort of try to make Chrome better or whatever. Or yes. Edging fast is a good way to do That's, it. The, it feels like it's kind of like the furniture, right? Like you don't really think about the browser that much. It's just what we use every day, all day. Because everyone kind of has the same sort of tools to work with. It's actually kind of interesting to see companies such as Arc, or the browser company, but Arc, which is their actual browser, to try to do stuff that's actually different and unique. And again, I come back to Arc mostly because I'm not totally sold on where it's at right now. But it is the first time, really since Chrome brought sort of the tabs to the top and sort of that kind of very simple kind of model, this is the first time that I've actually tried a browser and go, oh, you know what? This is very different. It's a little bit weird. I'm not totally used to it. But I can totally understand why if you're a power user and you want to really kind of get that sort of next generation experience, yeah. it's really well done, especially as it's coming to Windows. I think it's something to give a try. Let me explain to you why I use two browsers. What sauce reason do you have? To no, use it's not browsers? even sauce. It's just annoying. I have ad blocker which i would never install that ever i support websites even when you support hot singles in your area <laughs> he supports me i'm hot i'm hot single in your area ad blocker has been like terrible about like i i whitelisted youtube and it still doesn't let me play so i do have premium youtube premium on my personal account your not my account. my business account that runs this is even though i've whitelisted this is i can't watch my own content on the br uh, the browser, and that wouldn't work because that's a is an extension thing. So you're yep. you're using a different browser to get around that as opposed uh, to, to watch, using a different to, like to watch profiles. YouTube. Well, can, could, could with you, ad free? Have you tried to use different profiles? Yeah, when we upload a video, I I watch through it and proof proof watch it before we push it live. Yep. I can't watch my video just by having it installed. That said, YouTube show ads. Just by having it installed, I get the uh, the thing. It's like it won't even just show. Just install it. I would recommend to just you know. No, because when we go and watch, when we go to all the sus websites, I'm happy giving ad revenue to to sites that are like. Oh, like I see what you're talking about, man. That's naughty. Yeah, it is naughty that I don't want to see all the dickosauruses. Like it's. But let us know which browser do you use in the comments below, and are you ready to start paying for Chrome with your enterprise? Premium plans? Think about a 10,000 uh, person company yeah. paying for Chrome. There's one person watching the video go, I'm going to sign up everyone in the company for the pay version of Chrome so I can block them from watching this is videos, you tyrant.